good evening everyone so this demo uh, throws light on how you can uh, use adobe robohelp for your authoring editing publishing and uh, managing projects um, i am preparing this demo uh, in the light of my students um, and corporate folks who have asked me to actually run through the entire process so I'm using the latest version of RoboHelp right now, or 2019 version. And uh, you can see the welcome screen. Uh, so in the welcome screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click blank project. Once I click blank project, the wizard opens up, uh, wherein I will be um, entering the new project wizard details and all that. So let's say if, um, for the workflow and um, the title for the project is workflow. I save it in this folder and I keep a so just for my benefit, the title of the topic is Start and click Finish. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm creating an XPJ project. The XPJ project gets loaded onto my local system or to the server path where I kept my, uh, where I basically given the location for the particular project that I'm working on. So once that gets loaded on you, on you can see a list of the project manager tab comes, a list of the project files appear along with the topic. So all the topic creations will happen over here. The broken links, all the URLs that you create will be there. This displays the table of contents. You can create multiple table of contents. Same goes for index, same goes for glossary and C also. So the project manager pod allows me to create multiple folders and uh, work on so i might actually use uh, this particular project and keep separate modules that i might be working on so let's go and see uh, so this is the topic that i have written uh, i have uh, created and as you can make it out this is the editor pane this is where you will be writing all the stuff over here and um, what you do is uh, just just for your understanding i'm, I'm writing and uh, you have a style editor which is under the edit tab so if, if you can click on the style pod you will get all the style editor and then you can basically apply whatever you want to so simply just select it and uh, apply whatever normal or glossary tag so whatever you want to apply this particular thing now after this it also allows me to do content creation using design view and HTML view. Those of you who also know HTML, they will be able to do the content creation over here and uh, the HTML and that will be vice versa being populated over here also. If you want to create a topic, the next thing is keep the cuts wherever you want to create it, right click on it, you will get new and click topic, the topic wizard opens up. Just go and give it a name over here. So I'm just giving it a name here called New Topic One. Also, you get status of the topic that uh, you want. For example, if it is the first draft, select this. The appearance you can create multiple style sheet for you, um, and you apply so that topics in the same folder can have multiple style sheets. So that's one good aspect of it, and I like this feature. And once you're done with this, click OK. So the new topic one gets created in the project files here and uh, yeah, just go and create a new heading uh, style pod just open up the pod once again apply a new heading one write something here let's say how to start so process workflow and uh, you know like this you can start writing content ensure to make sure that you save the so now you've got two topics here the next thing for you is once you have, you can use the various features which are available out here right from hyperlink to related topics to image map to bookmark uh, well, snippet variable field all are there expanding text drop down text all these features can be used 
And once you're done with creation of features and all that, next thing what you do is let's just go and double click on it. I can create multiple contents also. There is a topic list showing me all the uh, particular topics are there. So I click on uh, develop contents workflow, the board opens up. Now what you can do is that you can manually do it and drag it or you can auto create DOC. So if you can auto create DOC, you get new topic one and how to start. Um, if I created a folder, I would have come like this. So right click on it. Um, sorry. So you have a new topic one and how to start. Uh, so what you do is that keep the cursor over it. Give it a name here. So call it contents. Uh, quick link. So just give it something like how to start. Okay. Then uh, take this topic inside it if you want. Uh, you can just drag and drop. Uh, okay. So I'm recording. Maybe that might be a reason why it's not working out or something. No problem. Uh, what you can do is keep the cursor over here. Take this. Uh, and uh, see if you can okay so I use this key alright and I'll use this key so the contents are over here inside this so once you have written the content and all that sort of stuff next thing is if you want to create an index create index okay create glossary like this and all once thing you are done output SSL helpnet and go ahead right click on it properties will set it up for you just go and create a CFA, whatever you want to call, so, and then save and generate. So basically, this is in nutshell how we create table of contents. Sorry, how we create a, a Microsoft HTML help from uh, uh, Adobe Robo Help. If you need more extensive training and uh, more kind of a data and information regarding the training program, uh, feel free to ping us at. Uh, on uh, training at bluedotsconsultancy.com. I repeat, training at bluedotsconsultancy.com. Thank you.